In recent days, tens of Shias from a Iraqi city, Halle, and members of Muslim Ibn Akil community met with the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi and then listened to the precious advices of His Eminence. After this meeting, Sheikh Jalal Maash joined the company and made a speech about the great role of Iraqi people in declaring the call of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, and Shia Islam across the world. In addition, Sheikh Jalal Maash appreciated the warm hospitality of Iraq during Arbaeen annual ceremonies and prayed for them to continue their services. With a dark history of suppressive rulers and the country's long-time struggle with anti-Islamic movements, which have recently taken the form of Islamic extremists of ISIS, Iraq has managed to remain as a source of pride in the Muslim world by its strong commitment to the Holy Quran and the teachings of Prophet's household, peace be upon them all. The Holy Quran and the pure Prophet's household and more specifically Imam Hussein peace be upon him, have been strong elements which preserve solidarity of the Iraqis against these numerous problems. In recent years, the manifestation of this pure love for the Prophet's household has drawn thousands of brave Iraqis to join the fight against invaders and the terrorists such as ISIS. In addition, Iraq has pulled off its role in resonating the call of Imam Hussein peace be upon him across the world. Despite the bad economy and security that have inflicted the country, Arbain annual ceremony which hosts up to 20 million pilgrims from different nationalities stands as a perfect example to the great works done by the Iraqi nation. With no official support, the people of Iraq open their arms to all lovers of Imam Hussein and shower them with their pure love and great respect. All these works carried out by the Iraqi people have resulted in the Shia Islam being known worldwide. Undoubtedly, all these achievements couldn't take place if it wasn't for the respectful mutual understanding between the Islamic leadership and the nation of Iraq. Together with the masses of people, the Shia Islamic leadership has managed to introduce the authentic Islamic conduct and principles in a global scale. This can explain the close ties between Grand Ayatollah Shirazi and Shia Muslims across the world. In the recent days, tens of Shias from the Iraqi city of Allah and members of Muslim Ibn Aqil community met with the Grand Ayatollah Sayyid Sadiq Shirazi and then listened to the precious advices of his eminence. After this meeting, Sheikh Jalal Maash joined this company and made a speech about the the great role of Iraqi people in declaring the call of Imam Hussein and Shia Islam across the world. In addition, Sheikh Jalal Maash appreciated the warm hospitality of Iraq during Arabic annual ceremonies and prayed for them to continue their services. In the end, Sheikh Jalal Maash thanked the activities and works done by this cultural center and added that the work is intermixed with the culture of Prophet's household and everyone should do its best to make this great culture known worldwide. To honor the days that coincide with Lady Fatima martyrdom, the Muslim Ibn Akil community recited poems and grieved over the sufferings of Prophet Muhammad's daughter. We traveled to the holy city of Qom to honor the martyrdom of Lady Masma, peace be upon her, in her shrine in this city. We are really glad to have met with the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi during this trip. I pray to God Almighty to help the Grand Jurists and keep all Shias and the great personalities such as the Grand Ayatollah Shirazi from being harmed. We hope that one day we see the name of Imam Hussein resonates in all corners of this world, and therefore we make all efforts to make this happen. I pray to God Almighty to grant us the intercession of the pure Prophet's household, both in this life and the afterlife. It is almost five years that I have joined this community. In the recent two years, this community has managed to expand its activities dramatically. During our rain ceremony, we had the project of food distribution that covered 11,000 people in the holy city of Karbala, and many people contributed to this great project. We live in Hilla city, which is located in the way leading to the holy city of Karbala, and many pilgrims of Imam Hussein visit our city in their way. Since the start of Safar month, until the 17th of this month, we hold various projects of public service. It is quoted from Imam Sadiq, peace be upon him, that he said, May God have mercy on all the people who glorify our way. In fact, that's what we try to do. We try to continue our projects in the name of Hazrat Qasim, the son of Imam Hassan, peace be upon him, 
and Hazrat Ali Akbar, the son of Imam Hussain, peace be upon him. They sacrificed their lives for the genie in Islam, and therefore we do everything in our power to continue their way. Now I would like to thank the members of Grand Ayatollah Shuraz's office for their warm welcome. When I met with the Grand Jurist Ayatollah Shurazi, it was really a good feeling. I pray to God Almighty to lengthen the life of the Grand Ayatollah Shurazi so that he can work more for the Shia Islam.